All right, good morning, everybody. We are done with the test, so we're back on lesson 86. Today, we're talking about multiplying fractions and whole numbers together. So this is basically the most important part of the lesson right here. Any whole number may be written as a fraction just by writing a denominator of 1 underneath it. If you wanted to write 2 as a fraction, it would be 2 over 1. 5 as a fraction, 5 over 1. 9 as a fraction, 9 over 1. 173. It would still be 173 with a denominator of 1. So all you have to do is make sure you have all your numbers written as fractions. The rest is all review. You go numerator times numerator denominator times denominator, but remember you might have to simplify and reduce your answers if necessary. So let's kick it off right now. We have one-third times four, right? So the first step, we got to get four written as a fraction. All we have to do is give it a denominator of one. Now we're ready to start multiplying. Numerator times numerator. 1 times 4. Well, 1 times 4 is 4, right? Denominator times denominator. 3 times 1. Well, 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. So, once you have it written out as an improper fraction, don't forget to reduce. This is why we've been working on those in our mental math quizzes. Do we even have to set this up in a divide box? Four thirds, three divides in a four one whole time, multiplies back for three, so four minus three is one. Four thirds is really one and one third, right? It's about that easy. All right, so let's try one like this. What is two-thirds of six? And back in the day, this is where we used to have to set up the rectangles and put in a third for each one. We don't have to do that anymore. All we have to remember is that of means multiply, and we have to remember how to write a whole number as a fraction. So I'm going to go 2 thirds times 6, but i got to write my 6 as a fraction, so I'm going to give it a denominator of 1, right? So I have it all set up. Now I'm just going to go numerator times numerator, 2 times 6. Hey, that's 12. And then I'm going to go denominator times denominator, 3 times 1, that is 3. And then I just have to make sure I don't leave my answer as an improper fraction. 3 divides into 12 four whole times, right? Now, we could have gone back and drew out the rectangle divided by the denominator. 3 divided into 6 would have gave us 2, and I could have filled out each one as 2 and sectioned off two-thirds of it. But what it gave us the same answer, right? So as long as you remember of means multiply and write whole numbers as a fraction with the denominator of one, this actually makes it a whole lot easier system than our old system, right? So let's try this one again because now they're going to get a little more complicated on us. What is two-thirds of five? So again, I'm going to multiply by two-thirds, and I better get five written as a fraction. So instead of five, I'm going to write them as five over one, right? Numerator times numerator, two times five, hey, that's ten. So I'm going to go ahead and write ten for my numerator. Then denominator times denominator, 3 times 1, hey, that's 3. And again, this is why we've been practicing on our mental math quizzes. 
10 thirds. Can we do that guy mentally and write him as a mixed number? 3 divides into 10. 3 whole times. 3 times 3 is 9. So 10 minus 9 leaves us 1. 10 thirds is really 3 and 1 third. What is 3 fourths of 6? So again, my first step, I'm going to go and multiply 3 fourths. I better go ahead and write 6 as a whole number. So I'm going to write them as 6 over 1. Get ready to multiply. Numerator times numerator. 3 times 6. Hey, that's going to give us 18, right? Denominator times denominator. 4 times 1. That's going to give us 4. So, 4 divides into 18. Got to get them written as a mixed number. Divides in there 4 whole times, right, to make 16. And 4 times 4 is 16. So, 18 minus the 16 leaves us 2 left over. 4 and 2 fourths. But hold the phone, that's still not our final answer. You can't leave a fraction as two-fourths. They're both even numbers, right? So I can reduce it. I got to divide both sides by two. Two divided by two is one. Four divided by two is two. Hopefully you knew two-fourths is a half. And then I got to go and bring my whole number back over. So 4 and 2 fourths, the final, final answer of what is 3 fourths of 6 is 4 and a half. Check out this guy. Sketch rectangles to model 1 third of 4. So I'm going to need 4 whole rectangles divided into thirds, right? Begin by drawing four rectangles. Divide each rectangle into thirds. That's what we just talked about. Then find one third of the total number of parts. So I'm going to have to go and shade one third there, one third there, one third there, and one third there, right? So what did I actually end up with? How many thirds do I have? One-third, two-thirds, three-thirds, four-thirds, right? And if you're paying attention, that was back to our first slide we worked with. Four-thirds, can't leave them as an improper fraction. Three divides in a four, one whole time. Gives you one left over. Four-thirds really is one and one-third again. And that is about it. Remember, any whole number may be written as a fraction just by writing a denominator of 1 underneath it. You're definitely going to want a scratch piece of paper and a pencil for the Socrative quiz, and good luck.